Hey YouTube, what is going on? I know I haven't been around in a while, but I'm here to make a new video for you guys today. Now for those of you who don't know, I went to college for five years and I graduated and right now I'm working at my uncle's restaurant. Among the things I do there, I'm a delivery boy mainly, but when I'm not on delivery, I'm in the front. Now what that means is I'm a cashier, I'm a waiter. Basically I do a little bit of everything besides for cooking. I don't do cooking. I might be able to fry some stuff, but I don't like, you know, do the whole walk thing. That's not me. I'm more of the face of the business, you know? You walk in through the doors, you make a left, you see me at the counter smiling at you most of the time. So for today's video, it's not gonna be about a delivery story, but it's gonna be work related. And when I'm at work, I'm usually happy. I try to give the best customer service or best customer experience possible. But one day a customer called to order food. I took the order, I told them it would be ready in 15 minutes and to come in and pick it up. So the customer walks in, turns to the right, sees me there. I'm smiling at him. Hey, how you doing? What did you order? He told me what his order was. So I went and grabbed the order and I brought it to the counter. And I was like, oh, your total is going to be $17.56. He has me a 20 and I give him $2 change back. Now at this point, you might be like, Jay, you're dumb. You went to five years of college and you can't even do math. $20 minus $17.56 does not equal $2. You're giving the guy extra money. I know this. I'm just trying to be a nice guy. I'm a person who doesn't like change in my pockets throughout my day. Like, if you have a bunch of change in your pockets, you're walking around, you can hear it, it's heavy. I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. I'm pretty sure no one else likes that feeling. It's like having wet socks. Who likes that? So I give him the $2, he says thank you, and walks away. I'm not sure how you guys operate, but that's how I operate. You know, you get away with a lot of things in a family-owned business, you know what I'm saying? But if you're working for McDonald's and you try to give people the extra three cents, at the end of the day, you're going to get fired. And I just want you guys to know, I don't play favorites. You know, I do this to a bunch of customers and I always do this for customers. But on one particular day, the same guy orders food, comes in, and this is what happens. Hey, how's it going? I'm here to pick up my order. Hey, yeah, what's your, what's your number? The number I got was three. Total comes out to be $13.57. Here's $15. But on this particular day, I didn't round up. I rounded down. So instead of giving him an extra two cents and giving him a dollar and five cents, I gave him just a dollar back. Here you go, sir, here's your change. Thank you, but uh, I think you're missing a little bit of change, right? And I'm just minding my own business thinking that, you know, he's gonna leave and I'm like putting the money in the drawer and I'm smiling like, yeah, like, you know, today's gonna be like an awesome day. And then I hear that and I pause and I look up and he told me, I think I'm missing a little bit of change. Okay, so I gave him the two cents. And he's like, oh, thank you, and went on his way. So Friday rolls around, he calls in again for another order. He comes in the door, turns to the right. I'm there greeting him with a smile again, of course. But this time, I remember what had transactioned with our previous encounter. So his total this time was 702. So let's pull out our calculators, right? So 702, you know. So by my calculations, I owe him $2.98. Let me, let me just do the math on that one more time. 702, $10, my, yeah, 2.98. So I give the guy $2.98 and he looks at me, he's like, can't you, can't you just give me $3? What? Let, hold on, let me, let me just pull out my calculator one more time and do the equation again. Two, seven, right? Carry the one, right? You just bring down the two, right? 90, 2.98, 2.98, I am, I am, 100% sure that I did my math correctly. I used my five years of college experience and knowledge and did the math on that. And it, sir, 298 is your change, sir. He's like, are you serious? It's it's two cents. You didn't give me all this change when it's two cents, you can just give me $3 bills. Okay, you're right, sir. Give me, give me the change back. Let me give her a dollar bill because I'm a nice guy, right? Now, next Friday rolls around. He calls up again, orders food, comes in and picks it up. This time, I owed him $2 and three cents in change. But you know what I did? I gave him $2 in change because you know, why not? It's a couple of cents, right? He takes the money, you know, he's, as he's walking away, he turns around, he's like, wait a second. You owe me like three cents. He's like, you didn't give me my three cents. And I was just happy, you know, minding my own business, putting the money in the cashier, like, yeah, like, today's gonna be an awesome day. Everything's gonna be fine, everyone's cool. And then he says that and I'm just like, you just told me last time that it was just a couple of cents that to not worry about, you know, like just to give it to him. So I'm like, sir, it's, it's only a couple of cents, right? Like, and he's like, well, what's right is right. You know, you can't just not give me my change, right? And I was just like, so I'm like, huh, you know what, sir? 
you know what, sir? You're completely right. You know, you're the customer. You're always right. You know, what's right has to be right. So I give him his three cents, his extra three little measly cents. So can you guys guess what happened next? Yes, Friday rolls around. He calls again. You know, this guy's like a regular. You know what I'm saying? That's the worst part. He's a regular. So he calls again, orders food, comes in to pick it up. You know, same thing. You walk in through the door, you turn to the right. I'm there smiling at you. Best customer service, smiling at you. How are you doing today? You know, you got a haircut. You look nice today. I like your nails. You know, you look like you lost weight. You look, you look, you look more fit. I'm like showering customers with like a, a arrangement of compliments. Like I'll make sure that you you leave with like a 100% confidence boosted. So I was like, hmm, let's do it his way. So for this particular order, I owed him in change $5.98. He was two cents away from me giving him $6 in change. So I pulled out the $5 bill, I gave it to him. And then I started counting out the rest of the change I was like, 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, penny, 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 penny. And I gave him all that change. I'm like, here you go, sir. And he's like, why you gave me all this change? You can't, you can't just give me a dollar? <sighs> Deep breaths, Jay. I was like, you know what, sir? I can't do that, you know? And he's like, why? What do you mean? And I told him, what's right is right, sir. What's right is right. And he looked at me, he was like, whatever, and walked away. And I was just like, yeah, take that. The moral of the story is, what's right is really right. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because something is benefiting you for a little bit of time, and then like all of a sudden it doesn't benefit you, and you complain about that. If you're not complaining about the benefits you get, you shouldn't complain about the negatives that you get. But thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting. But also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, and my Snapchat, and my Twitter. You know, I'll update those if I'm not on YouTube. So, come, you know, follow me on those. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace.